dimmer. Well, there's smoke. There's fire. Oh no! What do we do? Run for the exit! Where is the exit? Fire! Ah! Behind the foosball table! We can get our coats here. Woo! Oh, oh wow, a coke! <sighs> but I'm the first one. The stress of making video games and really kick ass is getting to me. If only I could blow the stress off. Let me log in with my branded Oyster card folder. It looks like we will win 10 to 8.9. So you guys <laughs> may serve. Oh, Dudes, dudes, these videos are really stupid, man. I'll, I'll show you what really matters, okay? Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, hang on. In the game of Avalon, you play as a servant of Ava. Each round, a leader pick a team of players to go on quest. Say, gee, you seem trustworthy. You should go on a mission with me. Thank you. No, John, I'm good. You should take me. I'm good. No, I'm good. You're also good? I am. I will take you on my mission also. Good choice. Players then get to vote whether the team should go on that quest. If the majority of players agree, the quest goes ahead. If not enough players agree, the next leader get to pick the team. As a royal servant, you want to make sure quests are successful. The trouble is, there are servants of Mordred among the players, and only they know their true identity. We call them spies. Their objective is to fail the quest. This is why it is important to do the voting wisely. As a royal servant, the good guy, you want to make sure there are no spies in the group. As a spy, you want to be in the quest group so that you may fail it. During the quest, players on the quest get to submit their quest card, which says either success or fail. If you are a royal servant of Arthur, you must choose success as it is the rule. If you are a spy, you may either choose to success or fail the quest. The quest cards are shuffled and revealed one at a time to everyone. So, Vicky and Richard were on a mission, the three of us, to induct the new space apes into the office. So. First, we need to get some new space apes. Success! Then we need to bring them into the office. Success! And then we need to induct them with amazing infomercials. Oh, 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 As a spy, your winning objective is to fail the quest. However, you may want to let some go to convince others that you are a good guy and bring you in on the team again. Usually, a single fail card is enough to fail the whole quest. When there are three successful quests, the good guys wins. When there are three fail quests, spies wins. We play with special characters such as Merlin. He knows who the bad guys are, but he can't be outspoken about it. After good guys has three successful quests, spies gets to assassinate a good guy. And if that person is Merlin, Spice wins the game, despite not failing enough quests. Before the game starts, you will be given a card. If your card is blue, you are a good guy. If your card is red, you are a spy. After that, ask everyone to close their eyes. Then spies will be asked to open their eyes, so that they know who other spies are. After that, spies close their eyes and put their thumbs up. Merlin will be asked to open their eyes to see who the spies are. The game can then begin. Yeah, guys, it's really good, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Oh hey, shit! They found me! Holy crap!
this is when something amazing happens. Like, what the heck? $50,000 a day. What's the meaning of that, John? I think when we make $50,000 a day, we should ring this gong. Yes. <laughs> no, that's not... So I guess we ring the gong at $50,000 a day. Ah! <laughs> 